In this demonstration we're going to look at configuring password based single sign on. What we're going to do to start with is we're going to add a directory application. What I've done is I've come into my classic portal. Within my classic portal I've come down to Active Directory. Within Active Directory I'm going to come to my default directory. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to come to Applications. And on Applications we're going to add an application. And the application I want to add, I'll add one from the gallery. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come to a mail account. And in the case of this, we're going to set up Yahoo. So we'll scroll this down. All we're looking for here is we're just looking for our Yahoo mail. So we'll highlight Yahoo mail. Give it a display name. So I'll just call this one Brian Yahoo. And then what we'll do is we'll click our tick button. As we can see, it's now going away and it's actually creating our directory aware application. Next thing we need to do is we just need to configure our single sign on. So we'll click on configure single sign on. This brings me into a wizard. So it says, how would you like your users to sign into Brian Yahoo? So we're going to use password single sign on. So Microsoft Azure AD will store account credentials for users to sign on to Brian Yahoo. Turn on tick box. Then what we need to do is we need to assign some users that can access this application. So we'll click on assign accounts. We'll then go for our Brian O'Connor user and then we'll assign. We're happy with reading all this information. So just in the case of assign users, this action will allow the selected user to authenticate the Brian Yahoo application from within the access panel. Users can enter and update their Brian Yahoo credentials using the access panel at any time. Turn on little tick box. Yes, I do want that to happen. So username. So specify the username, specify the password, and we'll just select tick. And as we can see now, Brian O'Connor, access, yes, method, direct. And that's the end of this demonstration of adding a directory application and then assigning a directory application to the user. Thank you.